The State Minister of Education and Sports in charge of sports, Honorable Peter Wang, has said that it is disappointing that Chige's region did not have athletes participating in athletics competitions in the Uganda Secondary School Sports Association USSA Ball Games 2 Championship, which concluded today. Minister Ogwang was today speaking in Economy Sports Stadium at the closure of the Uganda Secondary School Sports Association Ball Games 2 Championship. He noted that physical education and sports are compulsory on the education calendar. Minister Ogwang noted that Uganda's first gold medalist in world championships were from Kige's region and wondered what has gone wrong with the region, yet it is a high-altitude area like Kapchora, where the likes of Cheptege and Kipsuro come from. Minister Ogwang asked the USSA to compile a list of schools that are denying a chance to learners to participate in the games and sports. The minister expressed this may at Ashu leaders in Kige's region, who in 2022 declined to stage Coca-Cola championship over unfounded reasons saying that such leaders should be made to apologize. First of all, physical education and sports activities are compulsory. I want to ask you, USSA, to do me one thing. Can I have a list of all the schools across the country which are denying children the opportunity to participate in sports? Simple. I was told even in Kabale at one time I am happy to die in Kavale. At one time, you Kavale people, you took a decision that you're not going to participate in sports. Why? Even this year, I'm embarrassed and ashamed. I have been watching here. Where is one athlete from Kavale or Kigezi who has participated in this championship? The first gold medalist in this country came from Kigezi region. Today you're hearing Cheptege, Chebet, Chesan, who? Name those names. What is the difference between the Kapchorwa and the Kavali? All of you are on high attitudes. Why are you not having children here running? I'm coming back here to challenge you, the leaders of Kabale and Kigezi as a region. It is a shame that we are here, we do not have our children participate in sports. Minister Wang's comments followed remarks from the president of USSA, Justice Mujisha, who noted with concern that some schools have refused to participate in the sports, which denies the learners an opportunity to showcase and develop their talents. At the very correct rate, because in the U, we are lucky that we have a minister who is not just a minister of sports, but a great lover of sports and a great promoter of sports, a great mentor of the people under him. And because of that, we are scoring day from day from day and from day. Honorable Minister, sir, the first time we met, you told us what to do. You told us that in schools, you want mass sports. There are schools, you find a school of 2,000 students, and out of the very many games that we are now playing, because now we have a very big variety of games, you find a school that does not even participate in one. We feel, uh, Honorable Minister, sir, that you can use your office to make sure that every school gives the kids, the children of this country a chance to, to participate in the sport. Because there are very many talents that we are losing. Then, uh, Honorable Minister, sir, we also said you, before you came, uh, we were only participating in the in Fiasa Games. Minister Ogwang promised that he would come back to challenge the political leaders, stakeholders and all the teachers in Kigez region to chart a way of uplifting the games and sports in the region. Cheptege won running when it's the Diamond Championship. He walks away with $60,000. When he wins a gold, Nike pays him same $60,000. You win a gold, $60,000. Night championship, $60,000, $120,000. Tell me among the stars here who can get that money. How much land are you going to dig in Kabale here to get that money? How many bags of Irish potatoes are you going to dig and plant to get that money? Can we take 
take sports seriously with you people of Kigezi. Look at these hills. I was laughing. I was there. Look at all these hills. I'm coming back to meet the political leaders of Kigezi and all the heavy teachers. How do you say that the whole, district, the whole region, a district, you say, no sports activities? These are the teachers, I'm going to talk to the first lady, we must send you warning. The head teacher of St. Mary's College, Shoroza, said that as a school, they no longer take sports as a luxury, but as an investment for skills development. He said that as part of uh, developing the sports, they are looking for funds to construct a swimming pool, one of the facilities which will help the school to host the Federation of East African Secondary Schools Sports Association, Fiasa Games, in case Uganda is given a chance to host the games. Is ranging from football, netball, beach ball, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to say that sport and games are no longer luxuries, it is an investment. Therefore, I want to appeal to everyone to take part in sports and games. Yes, second school national ball games two championship started on 10th and concluded today. The annual event brings together schools from various parts of the country, competing in a range of sports disciplines that include football for under 14 and under 16 for both girls and boys, netball, athletics, cross country, handball, basketball, three by three, woodball. Volleyball, dance sport, rugby sevens, beach soccer, lacrosse and volleyball among others.